Hi! Today we will build an electric motor out of a deodorant can. The first thing we need to do is to remove the paint because we need the can to conduct electricity and the paint is non-conductive. You can use sandpaper to remove the paint. Here is the can without paint. I am going to mount it on these two pieces of wire. This is used a plastic tube that I use as a spacer so that the can does not collide with the wire. Obviously you have to make a little hole at the center of the base. This will be the rotor of our motor. We need a coil to power the motor. I am going to use this bobbin that I made with plastic and a wooden center to make the coil. You cannot use metal for this. Here's our little coil. It has around 1200 turns of magnet wire size 34 AWG. You can also use thicker wire with less turns. It will also work. The coil goes just below the rotor and we also have to put two neodymium magnets on opposite sides of the rotor. Here it is, the two magnets have been fixed with epoxy glue, you can also use instant glue, and the coil aligned with the magnets. The magnet must not collide with the coil, of course, but they must be as close as possible. To complete the motor, I have made a commutator using two pieces of electrical tape. And this will be the brush. Let me explain how it works. The coil is connected here and here. This wire is conductor and makes contact with the can and the input voltage is applied here and here so the current enters here by means of the brush enters the can from the can to this wire then to the coil and from the coil back to the other pole of the input voltage the motor works in the following way at this point, the brush is in contact with the tape, so there is no current flowing and the coil is not energized. At this point, contact is made, electricity flows, and the coil is energized. At this point, the magnet below is in this position and the coil repels the magnet, so it pushes and the motor turns. Then again the tape prevents the electricity from flowing but the inertia makes the motor to keep rotating until we are at this point when contact is made again. The other magnet is just passing the coil and another kick is given to the magnet and the motor rotates again. So this repeats every half turn and the motor continues to rotate.
We are powering the motor with three 9V batteries or 27V. The reason we need that much is that the coil is made with very thin wire. If you use thicker wire, you will need less voltage to operate. Thank <laughs> you.